Oh, Jesus. Hi, guys. It is a cool, rainy night here in the end times of Doomsday Trailer. But as you can see, Doomsday Trailer is coming along. It's starting to, to take shape here. We got the living room painted. We got the master bedroom floor, well, the subfloor on, ready for the pergo. Starting to uh, look almost civilized around here on this uh, blissfully rainy, it is a Thursday night, November 16, 2023. So I actually did not have a ramp planned, but I just got off the phone from a, <laughs> from a very bizarre phone conversation, not sure it's going to be the last time I have this phone conversation, and maybe I need to do this myself. And if you are certainly over the age of 50, you've probably had this very thought yourself. So I get this phone call from Austin, Texas, and it wasn't somebody's name I recognized. It was a just a 512 number. <clears throat> So I answer it and, Pam Bone, are you still alive, brother? Which is this vaguely familiar voice asking if I was still alive. So who this was, was, uh, I guess my buddy, uh, Greg, he was my tree man in uh, Austin for years. Uh, did all the, when group wasn't flying in from uh, LA with his chainsaws, Greg was the dude who, who did all of my tree work and for my real estate clients and whatnot. I have not heard from this man. We were trying to figure out how many years it had been and we figured it must have been seven or eight years. He, he remembered Sancho. He remembered <clears throat> that I had a little dog. And that's as much as we could date it. Well, I've had Sancho for going on eight years now. Is that it? Seven or eight years. I'll have to figure it out. But anyway, it had been years since uh, we had spoken. And what he was doing... He was literally going through his phone, calling everybody on his phone to see how many people in his Rolodex, you know, in his phone thing, were dead. And he had made it to H. H for Hambo. And uh, he had only found, shockingly, he was absolutely shocked, that he had only found one dead person that he had never heard were dead. Now, if, if you're anything like me and Greg, you already have a bunch of dead people in your Rolodex. I'm, I'm one of these... I, I've, I've always had this weird thing about deleting dead people out of, <laughs> out of my Rolodex. I, I, I mean, I go through it... it you know, you see your dead friend's names uh, in there, you know, and you think of them. Kind of the only time you think of them. Like, good Lord, I, in my Rolodex right now, I mean, just some names that you might recognize. Who do I have? Of course, Michael Dowd. That's, uh, well, I can't really see my Rolodex there. Let's see, Michael Dowd is in there, Gail Zawacki is in there, <clears throat> Peter Carter, I think Peter Carter's dead, is in there, Wally Brecker, uh, you know, I killed Wally, it was, uh, I, I was the last person to ever interview Wally Brecker, you know, he's the guy supposedly who coined the term global warming. 
I, I think he was 88 when I interviewed him, and he and he killed over dead a few weeks after my interview. So I killed Wally. I'm not. I don't really think I killed any of those other guys. Uh, but that that's just in my Doomer Rolodex, and, and, and I don't know how many other Doomers. In there, as far as I know, Paul Ehrlich's still alive. Uh, he must be uh, in his 90s. Uh, but, you know, going through my list of friends, I'm figuring I am up to a dozen people that I know are dead. You know, it, it, it took me eight years to figure out that my own dear sweet ex-wife uh, had died. Uh, her, her name sitting in there for eight years, and I thought of calling that woman a few times over those eight years, and for whatever reason, you, you know, calling your your ex, you don't know if what if their new husband is going to pick up the phone, and and, uh, and she's been dead for eight years. She's still sitting in my damn phone. Uh, so I'm wondering, <clears throat> you know, just like Greg, and, and, and I said, well, actually, brother, because uh, he's in my Rolodex, uh, I, I guess with a different number now, I, 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 <laughs> I, I said, well, dude, I said, I have to admit, if I was doing the same thing, you would have been uh, one, one of the people that I would have no idea when I called the number whether you were dead or not. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised to hear you. And I said, well, what did you think when, when you called me? And he goes, and, and he goes, well, he goes, I hadn't heard that you were dead. Uh, and, and he goes, it probably would have reached me through the grapevine. He, he goes, I don't know. He goes, but not counting that, he goes, actually, Emma, and he goes, I am a little surprised uh, that, that you're still alive. Uh, I told him about dropping that damn tree on my head out there at my lot that I'm working on now and uh, about taking myself out chainsawing a damn tree uh, bonking me on the head, and he said, yeah, he's lost several friends to uh, chainsaw accidents. So anyway, we had a, I don't know, about a 20-minute conversation, and it was just, you know, it was just kind of depressing. Greg's probably, see, if I'm 64... He's probably 68, and he said, you know, he's just one of these uh, <clears throat> old men with broken teeth, stranded without love, uh, clearing out the, the dead people out of his Rolodex. And, uh, but but I, I have to admit, uh, I have had the very same thought. You know, how many people in my Rolodex right now are dead? That I have no clue that these people uh, in, 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 in my Rolodex are dead. I, I, well, there's my ex-wife, and I know at least one of my, oh, well, not a girlfriend, one of my, you know, I used to have a bunch of fuck buddies in Austin, Texas. Whatever happened to fuck buddies? Uh, I know I have one dead fuck buddy, a dead ex-wife. Uh, how many other... I think it's mostly men who are dead. Uh, but I'm, I'm not quite sure, you know... Fat boy, uh, <clears throat> I thought he was dead uh, for, for for like two fucking years. Uh, I, I thought Fat Boy was dead, and, and then I get a call uh, from the other side of the grave last year. 
I told you. I, I said, man, I, I said, dude, I thought you were fucking dead. So, somehow. So even so, I so I guess maybe. How many other people do I have in my Rolodex that I think are dead, but they're not dead? You, 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 you know, is Fat Boy the the only one of those? How many people in my Rolodex will soon be dead? You know, this is another game I play. The the older we get is is going down the Rolodex of your friends you've lost track of uh, and wondering if they're not dead yet, how long before they are dead. I had this dream about these friends of mine out there in California who I haven't heard from and going on three years and I, I'm just getting the bad, this married couple, I'm getting the bad feeling, I don't know why that one of them is dead. So that's kind of a, a split decision on who's dead. But do I, am I that interested enough to, uh, because, you know, before I went down the doom sphere, I actually used to have friends. I've probably got, good Lord, uh, because in this Rolodex, it goes back to, uh, I believe, 2006. I, I probably have like 300 people in this Rolodex. As I say, I, I, I'm I guessing I know that 12 of them are dead. And, and, and obviously, I, I think I know the ones who are alive. But I bet I have, I bet I have 100 people in my Rolodex uh, who I have no fucking clue if, if, if they're dead or alive. So what do I do? Do I... Do I do what my buddy Greg is doing and, you know, call some old fuck buddy girlfriend of mine from Austin who I haven't seen? Uh, good Lord, since uh, 2008, you know, I haven't seen this woman, heard from her, whatever, in 15 years from my uh, booty call file. Uh, what, what do I say to her? Oh, hey, hey darling. Uh... No, this is not a booty call, but if you're offering, I'm available. Uh, I, I'm just fine. I'm just seeing if you're dead or not. Oh, fuck. I've, been, I've just been, as you guys might have figured out, I've been thinking a lot of ba about death. Lately, it's uh, taking up more and more of my attention, thinking about death. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to sit here and play with my Rolodex and uh, try to figure out, uh, I'm going to go through th these lists of old names, and, and, and I guess I'm going to put them on a scale of 1 to 10 with, uh, you, you know, 1 being, I know they're still alive, and 10 being, I know they're dead. And, and then for the 100 or so people that I haven't heard from in minimally five years. I, I, I think I'm going, what, what I'm going to do with my night tonight is one being, I know you're still alive. Ten being, I know you're already dead. You, you know, like on a scale uh, of, of how much, how 
like, like an eight is I'm 80% sure you're dead by now. You know, I would have given Greg, I probably would have given Greg if I was playing this game, I would have given him a seven. Uh, I, I would have figured 70% uh, chance he was dead. Now, his girlfriend, who was a good friend of mine, not a fuck buddy, damn it, uh, she is dead. You know, I I anybody who saw this couple, I mean, she died. She died of cancer. Uh, how many years ago was it? I I anybody looking at this couple, uh, you know, like which one of these two are going to be dead first? And you, you just never can tell uh, what kind of, I guess that was breast cancer. Took her out. Good Lord. Um, oh yeah, there, there's another, uh, just breast cancer. Uh, there's another one. Uh, <clears throat> my Doomer chick friend Karen, some of you, Sandy, you probably remember Karen. She was that librarian down in Florida. Uh, down in, you know, she's another Doomer chick dead. Uh, Jesus. So I wonder how many Rolodexes I am sitting in. That's another thing. How many Rolodexes <laughs> am I still surviving? And I'm absolutely shocked that I'm that I, why would I even be in Greg's Rolodex? Uh, as I say, we, we figure we haven't spoken to each other. And uh, long enough to not know whether we're dead or alive. Uh, at one point, at one point, I'm quite sure I was probably in 500 people's Rolodexes, judging uh, by by the number of phone calls I get now. You know. I, I used to spend 7,000 minutes per month uh, on uh, the goddamn phone. 7,000, every single month, 7,000 minutes per, uh, per month. And probably now, if I spend 70 minutes per month talking to you know, live humans, I would be shocked <coughs> if I spend an hour and ten minutes out of every month uh, on the phone anymore. But anyway, that's going to be my evening. Thinking of dead friends. Summer, is it summer dead and summer living? Uh, I've heard a two or three dead friend songs today while I was painting, <clears throat> listening to dead friend songs and then getting that call. Anyway, enough rambling. This is what I'm thinking about tonight is dead friends get out there and go through your Rolodex and call your own dead friends while you still can. What a fucking depressing world it is. Do I dare say, bye guys.